Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. Now the gin we're trying today is Drum Shambo Gunpowder Irish Gin. That one right there. Which I thought we'd done. No, we haven't. <laughs> Which we haven't. Distilled at the edge of a lake in a shed in a small Irish town, PJ Rigney has made something that's created quite a storm in the gin world. This distinctive blue bottle can be seen in many countries around the world. Here in the UK, you'll find it in most supermarkets. And when people ask, what gin would you recommend? That's easy to get hold of. We would both recommend this gin. And we often do. So what is in it? Well, obviously, there's gunpowder tea. <laughs> oh, well. But the botanicals, other botanicals include juniper, angelica roots, oris roots, caraway, coriander, meadowsweet, cardamom, star anise, and the vapour infusion of lemon and lime, sorry, lemon and lime, with fresh grapefruit, and obviously, the gunpowder, gunpowder tea. Gunpowder tea. Yeah. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 43% and costs around 30 pounds. Today, we're making the gin and tonic and garnishing with some pink grapefruit. We have red grapefruit, similar. But, so that's what we're doing. As always, be trying it neat first. Now, they also do this beautiful bottle. Look at that. I love that. That is fantastic, but we're not opening that one today. Aww. Do you want to open that one today? I was going to just open this one. Okay, let's open that one. Because I thought we'd done them. Isn't it's, that weird? It's up to you. What do you want to do? No, let's open that one. Right, let's open this one. Oh, I do like that bottle. <laughs> you had your chance. Let's take the little thing off. Well, you haven't opened it yet. Oh, oh there you go. It was a struggle, but it was you a struggle. did. So here's the instruction manual. Drink, me. <laughs> oh wow, it's actually got a map in it as well. Oh, for buried treasure. Ah. Of where to find the gin bottle, right. Right. Now we do like this one. Oh. It's junipery. It's ginny, it's a nice smell. It's a bit sweet. Oh, it's a, it's a very good gin. It's a ginny gin. It's sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I like it. <laughs> nice level of spice. You have that kind of eucalyptus -y element to it as well. It's, it's very uh, eucalyptus forward, I think. Yeah, it's, it gives you those kind of menthol -y flavors, even though eucalyptus isn't in there, but it's kind of gives you, it's quite a menthol uh, feel. Oh yeah, actually, of course it's not. Mm. But that's style, you know what I mean. Liquishy. Mm. Yeah. And it's nice and smooth. It's really, really smooth. And you have a nice bit of warmth in the chest. Everyone likes a little bit of warmth in the chest. Oh, that's lovely. It is lovely. Have we ever had it, Nate? We've had it in a pub. I don't remember having it, Nate. We don't normally have, no. We, this goes straight in tonic for us. Yeah, because they normally pour it out like that, don't they? Yeah, unfortunately they do. Um, I think we should put it in a tonic. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's give it a try. And Cheers, why not? Oscar. Don't they look nice? That's they a colourful range. They look lovely. Range. If only we had opened that bottle. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's creamy. That's silky. It is. It's lovely. It's lovely juniper. It's taken away some of that licorice-ness mm. that we had. And yeah, it seems to have um, balanced it out more. But yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, that is so good. It's tasty. <clears throat> Make some mouth water. <laughs> Sorry. And it went down the wrong hole. I took a huge gulp because I, I really <clears throat> enjoyed that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The juniper, in it is, it's really lovely, kind of oily juniper. I love yes. that. Oily. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's pininess there, but the, like I say, the licorice element seems to have backed down. But a also bit. the gunpowder tea. We do like oh, a gin God. with tea in. We do indeed. They, they, a gin with tea we love. And I just think it's just so, so well balanced. It's very harmonious. It's a tasty gin. It's smooth. It's exciting. It makes my mouth water. It's, my mouth is watering mm. right now. It's, I, a, it's a very, very good gin. It's. It's beyond average. It's beyond average. It's been very, very well thought out. Um, they're nice. They're, it's it's nice. It's colourful. It's I, I do think it's it's a strange one. It's a bit of a modern take on gin, but again, it isn't. It's it's kind of sticking to those kind of traditional botanicals. But then by, by putting the gunpowder gin in there, it's bringing it kind of newer because obviously 
the old guards don't have tea in them. Uh, yeah, but like, like we said, well, like you said, and like we agree, is gins that have tea in them seem that there's, I think we've come across one that wasn't very good, bad tea. Mm. And they all seem to work well, so maybe they, I mean, we don't know what, the, what their idea was, but they've obviously experimented. But look, it's at, worked. look at the bottles and, and the imagery and stuff. I think that it is pushing gin forward. Mm. It's pushing gin forward. I mean, it's very accessible. Yeah, and for it to be in supermarkets, and that's what we said in, in <clears> the start of the video, when people ask for us, what, what gin would you recommend if I'm going to get one from, from a supermarket <laughs> and the couch around there? Sorry, um, then I would always recommend this one. I always go at this one first. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely looking bottle. Easy one. Easy one cats, to do. The cats around. And what I like about it is you've got this range that is supermarket friendly, but for collectors like us, they do these as well. So it, it sort of sets it. Even, it's the same product though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, same product. So you can, you know, as a collector, this this is great for us. They even do one in a cat-shaped bottle. Is and it I've there? Got a cat. Oh, can are I you have, are you full of gin? Can I have some drum shambo. No, you can't. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's a beautiful, beautiful product. I think it's it's done correctly. It isn't it isn't trying to go all kind of bells and whistles. It's not going. To, trying to go too out there. Oh yeah, no, no, it's, absolutely. It's modern enough, but it's classic enough. And it's, their, their, their take on, on gin has definitely moved forward on that, you know, yeah. by adding that tea. And as gin it. purists would go, they would like it because it's definitely a ginny gin. Mm. Oh, we need to score it. Oh yeah. Shall, Wait, shall, can you pass me shall, a... shall I do that? Yeah. Because you, you've got a cat. Come on. Yeah? What, what was, what's all come this on, clicking? Just come on. There you go. Sort that out then. Right, okay. Right. Yeah, okay, doing yeah. it with one hand, are Ready? you? Yes, I am actually, because I can multitask. <sighs> Go. No, you can't. You literally can't. Yeah. yeah, this is a really, really good gin. Very, very good gin. And that's why we recommend it. It's very, very, I need another, another amount. Mm. All that hard work you're doing. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a lovely tipple from Ireland as well. And I like the story. They also produce um, some other spirits as well. They've got a whiskey and they've got a vodka. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Let's check those out. Right, do your bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that. Drop us a comment if you've had any needs. Do that. And we'll see you in the next video. Do that. Cheers. Cheers.